Over the years, many deputies have been injured while using the pick and ram. This program can help you prevent injuries by teaching you proven techniques that will allow you to gain entry in the quickest way possible while at the same time reducing risks and injuries. This program will also discuss the various types of picks and rams and how they should be properly used to breach metal security screens and other types of doors. For the best outcome of a warrant operation, you should always conduct a pre-warrant surveillance of the location to gather intelligence and determine the type of door or entry you may be breaching. Photographs will allow you to see the placement of the locks on each door. This will allow you to pre-plan how that entry will be breached. Ideally, surveillance should be also conducted in the same lighting conditions that the warrant will be served and so that you may plan a safe approach and, if necessary, eliminate some of the lighting. If there is a security screen door, a pick and ram will be needed to breach that door open, and then a ram to breach the front interior door. If there is no security screen door, only a ram will be necessary to make entry. The sergeant or lead investigator should provide the entry deputies with copies of the surveillance photos and discuss a primary and secondary entry point. This will allow the entry deputies to plan which tools they will need to make entry. They should also discuss, though, how many hits with the ram or attempts with the pick will be made before they switch to a secondary entry point. The deputies who are assigned to use the pick and ram must be physically capable of holding the pick in place with both hands placed at least one and a half to two feet from the anvil end. Or, while maintaining control, swing the ram at a proper height at least five times. Prior to leaving on a warrant service where the door will be breached, the deputies who will use the pick and ram should perform stretches. This will warm up their muscles to prevent possible injury. The pick and ram deputies should always wear gloves and eye protection to protect against flying metal shavings and wood splinters. In the event that a window is broken, gloves and eye protection will also protect them from flying glass. When approaching a location that requires only the use of a ram, the deputy carrying that ram will be the last person on the entry team. That deputy should not have his weapon drawn. Instead, his sole job, until the door is breached, is to ram the door. The first and second deputy in the lineup will cover for the ram deputy. As the team approaches the door to be breached, the ram deputy should move to the middle of the line. Waiting to move up may delay the entry and compromise the other deputy's safety. After all threats are covered, the call for ram up will be made by the team leader. Pick ram up! A team of deputies approach a house. Now the house has lights that light up the deputies as they approach, which allows the suspect to easily see them. For officer safety, as the team approaches, you may want to eliminate any outside lights. This may prevent the suspect from seeing you, but at the same time, it may create other safety concerns. If the deputy using the picker ram is unable to see clearly, he may inadvertently place his hands in harm's way or strike another deputy with the ram. To prevent this from occurring, a designated deputy should illuminate the area where the ram will strike. At the briefing prior to the warrant service, the entry team must determine how they will breach the primary door. They must also discuss how they will breach a secondary entry point if the first should fail. If there is a security screen door, they will need to breach that before they breach the front door. This will help you determine what tools you will need to gain entry. Before using the ramp, there are several things that you should know. The first deputy to approach the door should always check to see if the door is unlocked. If it is locked, then the ram will be necessary. In order to breach any door, you must first determine where the locking device is on the door. This will determine how you hold the ram and how you position your feet when striking the door. If the locking device is on the right side of the door, your left hand should be towards the front of the ram with your right hand towards the rear of it. Your left foot should be forward, your right foot to the rear. Now for officer safety, you would not normally stand in front of the door. But to use the ram properly, the ram deputy must stand right in front of the door. Deputies who stand to the side of the doorway while using this ram usually end up hitting the door frame or even crushing their hands against the stucco or the door frame. If the locking device is on the left side of the door, it's just the opposite. Hold the ram with your right hand this time towards the front of the ram, your left hand to the rear. Your right foot should be forward with your left foot to the rear. As you prepare to strike the door, bring the ram back at just below chest level.
Now, if the door has only a knob, strike the door adjacent to that knob or on the knob. If the door has both a knob and a deadbolt, though, strike the door next to the deadbolt or even on the deadbolt. If the door has not opened after striking it with two or three good hits, you should consider either making entry through a secondary location or backing off and calling the occupants out. Now, some deputies may try striking the hinges to gain entry. This method takes way too long, puts you in more danger since you actually have to stand in front of the door for a longer period of time. As the door is being breached, deputies not involved in the entry should be notified by radio to create diversions on the opposite side of the house to divert the occupant's attention away from the entry point. As soon as the door is opened, the entry team will begin entering as the ram deputy drops to the back of the line and places the ram to the side. The ram should not be thrown back into the entry team. Once the ram deputy discards the ram, he will draw his weapon and be the last person to make entry. If a house has a security screen door in addition to the front door, a pick and a ram will be needed to make entry here. The ram deputy should strike the flat area of that pick with two good hits. When using the pick and ram, both the pick and ram deputies will follow the entry team. Since their focus is on breaching the door, their weapons should be holstered until the doors are open. As they approach the entry point, both should move to the center of the entry team. As the pick deputy approaches, he should look at where the pick is going to be placed. Once the entry team is in place, the pick deputy will move into place, placing the pick between the stucco and the metal frame. Placement of the pick is critical. The anvil end of the pick should be placed either above or below the locking bolt. Once the pick is in place, the deputy holding it must move his hands back away from the striking area at least one and a half to two feet. The ram deputy must have his body in front of the door in order to strike the pick properly. By having the ram deputy in front of the door, he will also be in the proper position to ram the interior door once the security screen is open. The ram deputy should strike the flat area of the pick with two good hits. The purpose of striking the pick is to force it down far enough between the door and the frame so that it will be able to pry the frame away from the door. If the pick man sees that the pick is not set, he should tell the ram deputy to hit it again until he sees that it is set. Once the pick is set, the ram deputy should back up, allowing the pick deputy to push the pick away from his body. This will cause the metal security door frame to separate from the stucco of the house, allowing the door to be opened. Once both doors are open, the pick and ram deputies should fall to the end of the line and set their tools down, draw their weapons, and make entry at the end of the line. The tools should never be dropped or thrown, as there is plenty of time to safely set them down. Many of the picks and rams are homemade. Because of this, some are made improperly and can cause injuries to deputies who use them. There are several things you should consider before you use a pick or ram. First, placement of the handle on a ram is critical. If the front handle is too far forward, the deputy operating the ram will strike his hand as the ram breaches the door. If the ram is made properly, though, it will be front heavy and off balance, and the handle will be back far enough to prevent the deputy's hand from hitting the door frame. The purpose of the pick is to separate the door from the door frame. Since most deadbolt locks have a one and a half inch bolt, the frame must be pried over one and a half inches away from the door. When a door has dual locks, it is too time consuming to separate each lock from the frame, so you should consider entering through another entry point. Another type of door that you should not attempt entry is a door with an enclosed and locked sally port. This type of entry will be too time consuming and noisy to breach, which will lose you that element of surprise. To defeat a set of double doors, you must first understand how they are secured. One door is locked in place by two pins, one at the top, one at the bottom. It cannot be opened unless both pins are disengaged. Once the pins are released, both doors can be opened. During daily use, the secondary door remains stationary, and only the primary door will open using the doorknob. To breach double doors, you must first strike the upper pin area on the secondary door until you feel it give. Then, strike the lower pin area until it gives. Once both pins are defeated, strike the primary door adjacent to the deadbolt or doorknob. If this procedure takes too long, the team leader must decide if the team should go to the secondary entry point or back off and call the occupants out. If the secondary entry point is a sliding glass door, 
the pointed end of the pick can be used to shatter it. This is done by striking the glass panel in the lower right corner with the pick end. You should never shatter a window or glass door by throwing the ram through it. If you do and the suspect begins firing at you, the ram will not be available to use to force entry into another portion of the house. In order to become proficient, you must practice. If you are on a team that conducts warrant services, you should practice together as a team. Shift positions and practice over and over again. It's important for the pick and ram deputies to practice together so that when an actual warrant service occurs, they will communicate properly and perform the entry with precision. When you practice entries, practice in the same lighting conditions that the warrants will be conducted in. By doing this, you will reduce injuries, improve officer safety, and learn to work together as a team.